This is a new beginning. Things have changed. Prepare for the worst. Perhaps it is time to begin again. Now, it's always fun to criticise Disney due to their incompetence. I've made a career out of it. And looking at a lot of the decisions they have made since buying Star Wars, it's pretty obvious they're just making it up as they go along, which isn't really a surprise, is it? But one of their ideas seems to be, well, I wouldn't say thought out. One of their ideas seems to have been bubbling along the whole time. And that idea is to remove all the filthy men from any meaningful roles in Star Wars content. Because it's been men that have been wrecking this series from the beginning. A quick recap of Disney's efforts in pushing those men to the background. Ray literally stole Luke's lightsaber and beat him up. <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit, they even brought back the Emperor for her to finish the job off properly. <laughs> While she also became all the Jedi. Meanwhile, Poe and Finn finished the series alone, having achieved nothing. In fact, besides Poe destroying the Dreadnought at the start of The Last Jedi, a decision I should add which saved everyone... So, of course, he was slapped and demoted. Besides him blowing up that ship at the start of The Last Jedi, both he and Finn had literally no effect on the rest of the series. Ah, Nothing Poe or Finn did move the story forward or had any effect on the final outcome. (laughs) Even all their actions in the final battle were unnecessary. Not bad for one lesson! Because the First Order ships all magically started falling out of the sky once the Emperor was dead. Even ships on other planets, which makes no sense whatsoever. And Poe and Finn had nothing to do with killing Palpatine, so they weren't even needed. I'm all the Jedi. Boba Fett was completely useless in his own show. But that one, they didn't even try to hide. Fennec was the boss and Boba had to just sit there and take it. We even had in one episode, and I'm not counting the ones that he wasn't even in, in one episode he didn't even get one line of dialogue. But Fennec did. That's because she was running the show. She was even in the episodes that Boba wasn't. By any chance, are you looking for work? Might could be. Pay is good. The Obi-Wan travesty of a series was really the Reaver show. In fact, Obi-Wan was so useless, he didn't achieve anything. He didn't get Leia home, and Luke only survived because Reaver felt remorse, which again had nothing to do with Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan, in fact, had no impact on anyone's survival. Instead, his actions, stupidity and selfishness got people killed. Plus, he also let the most feared person in the universe live, again, for a second time. Goodbye, Darth. I think you're right. And then we have Mando. (laughs) The funniest kick Disney has delivered to the male nuts. The feared bounty hunter has become the damsel in distress in his own show. Get to Bo-Katan. This season he has been saved by Bo-Katan multiple times, yet he hasn't saved her once. He handed over the Darksaber without a fight, and he stood there while the show glorified Bo by letting her have a kick-ass fight to declare the real owner of the saber. But it wasn't with him. (laughs) And the series finished off with her King of the Helmets while he was sitting at home with the baby waiting for his Amazon delivery. And Rogue One. Well, Rogue One's not on the list because they didn't make all the men useless in that film just to build up the female lead. They instead wrote a proper story where the men all had something to do. Doesn't sound so bad to me. And that brings us up to the next Star Wars outing. Ahsoka, a Dave Filoni creation. So yeah, that doesn't fill me with hope. Well, not after seeing the trailer anyway. Now, let me back that up a bit. My first taste of Ahsoka was with The Mandalorian. Yes, that's right, I haven't watched the cartoons. A lot of people told me I should, but I think we should just all agree that that's never going to happen, no matter how many times I say it will. And at this stage, with everything I've been through watching these bloody series, I don't know if I can take much more Star Wars. But anyway, Ahsoka and The Mandalorian. I'd have to say the episode with Ahsoka was probably one of my favourites. There was a moment there that felt very Star Wars-y, even though I still think it was stupid to have Mando not know anything about the Jedi, and we had to have her explain it all again. But that's all for another video, which I've already done. And I really like Rosario Dawson in the role, but will the interest in Ahsoka translate across to a whole season about her? Well, with Dave Filoni in charge, 
I highly doubt it. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait for Dave to insert himself into the show as a boring, stupid character wearing a cowboy hat, a move just to stroke his own ego. So there is that to look forward to. But there is the other big problem. Dave Filoni writes shows as if everyone has watched the cartoons and read the books, which is a really stupid way to create content that is based on what was once the biggest movie franchise of all time. The amount of people that have seen the movies but have never watched the cartoons or read one of the books would be in the millions. But Dave and Lucasfilm are completely out of touch with that idea. Every time one of his bloody characters turns up, they arrive like the normies should know who the f*** they are. Because he doesn't do what a good storyteller would do, and that's weave a character's introduction into the story, or maybe make a bit of effort to give us some background. So when these too many unknown characters arrive at a pivotal scene, or are spoken of in serious tones, we actually feel something. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I am Kathleen Kennedy, and you're watching Tinseltown. But that will never happen because Star Wars is just live-action cartoons now, thanks to people like Dave Filoni. So that's why we get lines in the trailer like... About Thrawn's return. Thrawn's returning, is he? Is that meant to mean something to me? Thrawn could be the name of a pizza topping that's coming back for a limited time, for all we know. Should I have the last slice? Actually... You're only entitled to half. Hang on, hold on to your junk. I have to quickly tell you about today's lovely sponsor, Manscaped. April is here, which officially marks the beginning of what our friends over at Manscaped like to call Fresh Ball Fall. <laughs> now, we don't call it fall in Australia, but Fresh Ball Autumn doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? So Fresh Ball Fall it is. That's right, the leaders in below-the-waist grooming are here to make sure that your foliage isn't the only thing shredding its excess leaves. And if in your part of the world things are starting to warm up, then it's definitely time to spring clean. But before you race off to get trimming, you don't want to just let any old trim any of the family jewels. That's where the Manscaped Performance Package 4 with its Lawn Mower 4 comes in. It's all you're going to need to get those stones looking their best, as well as feeling their best. Because this ain't just about you, my friend. Oh, Robot Head, you feel extra special today. The Lawn Mower 4 trim will give you a clean, close shave, as well as being waterproof, so you can use that bad boy in the shower. It also has an LED light to help you get to those hard-to-reach places. Wow, you really got everywhere. Then once you have everything looking its best, it's time for the Performance Package 4's Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver to have you feeling clean, free and easy all day long. Manscaped even take care of the unwanted ears and nose hair with the fantastic Weed Whacker too, because no one is interested in the family jewels if your head looks a mess. Go to manscaped.com and get 20% off and free shipping with the code ROBOTHEAD. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. When you use that code ROBOTHEAD, Manscaped, it's that time of year to clean out the leaves and let that tree trunk shine. Now, I'm not saying not to introduce Thrawn as a character, but it would be a lot better if they explained who he is in the series and build him up for us to enjoy. But instead, they just want us to think he's important without even knowing who he is. Oh, hang on, I forgot. That works for the modern Disney Star Wars fans, whose main enjoyment is just being able to point at things they recognise. About Thrawn's return. No way. About Thrawn's return. About Thrawn's return. Heir to the Empire! Morgan Elsbeth knew it. Ooh, Thrawn! Ah! They just find it a lot easier to just love everything Disney delivers. No questions asked. Somehow Palpatine returned. Not that you care, but I think you're okay. But for the rest of us, I wish Disney would take a bit of a lead from Lord of the Rings and the original trailer for Fellowship of the Ring because they weren't stupid enough to have the original trailers just say, Sauron's back. And leave it at that, they knew the name Sauron meant nothing to many who had never read the books. Just like the name Thrawn. Legend tells of a ring created by an ancient evil that gave its wearer the power to enslave the world. So the Ahsoka trailer. I tell you, I hope that final rendering has been done to the video because the environments look like absolute garbage. It looks like a video game, but not a current one, a video game from about a decade ago. And man, I am just sick of dreary Star Wars. Can we have a bit of colour in our world? Oh no, no. <laughs> oh, for real. <laughs> Disney going to ride the diversity train all the way off the cliff. White dudes only apply for the head baddie roles. And I know this has been asked a thousand times, but who are they trying to appeal to? Why are Disney obsessed with turning away their traditional fan base and going after the female or weirdo soy-based selection of the public? The section of the public that just has no brand loyalty to them. Because if the new fans were loyal to Star Wars, Hasbro wouldn't be going broke and Solo would have made a profit and Disney would be releasing Star Wars films every year and not just releasing crap to the safety of Disney Plus. Well, we all know. 
Star Wars films being at the cinema is not going to happen for a very, very long time. Just to put it into perspective, literally this video will make more money than Solo. And I know, <laughs> it's not really saying much. But what do we actually get from this glorious trailer? Nothing. No teasing of an interesting story or characters. Disney Star Wars just now relies on there always being some threat over the horizon. Something's coming. I started hearing whispers. We have to prepare for the worst. The only thing they ever have with these pre-sequel shows is that everyone always feels something's coming. Something's coming. Yes, just like your stomach grumbling before you're hit with explosive diarrhea. Every story now has to lead to those terrible sequels. Being locked into that crap and making everything connect is the biggest downfall of this franchise. The Force. <laughs> And we know, Dave Filoni couldn't fart an original idea. The trailer for his new show, Ahsoka, is just the Force Awakens trailer. There has been an awakening. Something's coming. Have you felt it? I sense it. Ah, I remember back when the future looked good. So long ago. This is a new beginning. A new beginning, of course. Just like the this will set things right line from A Force Awakens. This will begin to make things right. Yes, it's always a new beginning, setting things right. This is the way, bullshit. Things have changed. How many times is Disney actually going to try and trick the audience that this time it's going to be good? And we're still. How many times are the Disney faithful going to fall for this crap? Perhaps it is time to begin again. Disney have just now opted for brainwashing over quality content. If only we could begin again with new owners of Star Wars. Perhaps it is time to begin again. I'm too stunned. I'm too stunned to speak, so I'm probably not even gonna be able to talk about it right now. Okay, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna rewatch it. This is gonna be. This is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. It's. It's already amazing. It's already amazing. <laughs>